Who's good, Potato Spin the League here, and welcome to another episode of The Looking Glass. Under these episodes are few and far between, but, you know, I, I am focusing on my main Let's Plays, and I'm trying to deal with shit in the outside world. So, this is Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet. Where the fuck do I start with this game? There are so many features in this one room alone. So, over in this screen, you can actually accept uh, multiple different types of quests. This also functions as a shop. So, you have subquests, hunting quests, unique quests, and treasure quests. Treasure quests give you some of the rare items. They can usually only be found in dungeons. Uh, unique enemy quests, they're basically area mini bosses. Hunting quests are enemy players, and sub quests are just killing a certain number of enemy per map. Over here, we have your storage boxes. Over here, you have your basic, uh, you know, HUD setup, customizations, skills, gadgets, items, avatar customization, and the option to save. Over here is a. I'm not even sure how to pronounce it. It's a. It's an in game. AI, basically a rare item, uh, and she functions as kind of a banking system. So yeah, you you have different AI set settings. You can customize how she acts in the field. You can change her personality. Uh, you can use her to actually change the color of all the equipment and items you have on. And yeah, I usually go with gold, because why not? Yeah, and this even goes down to your accessories. This eye patch, this ring, those aren't vanity items. They do something. So let's go ahead and fucking leave this. Uh, but the thing that I really want to talk about is the banking system in this game. I fucking love it. The way that they have you handle your finances in this game is ridiculous. Uh, so we're going to go straight to the menu. We're going to go to banking. We have... That's, that balance has been taken taken out of uh, every trip into basically the main game where you can kill enemies so every time I come back it takes roughly 20 to 30 percent a percentage which I designated and puts it in storage that money is then invested and could potentially return with you know great rewards or just nothing at all uh, I can also give this uh, AI unit an allowance from that she'll go and buy me items and even with the even with the allowance, let's go ahead and, uh, shit, I'll give her 200,000. Yeah, here you go. Alright, and I can actually, uh, saving settings, I think that's how she spends her money. No, this is how I invest, alright. Uh, oh, shopping settings, that's for her. So... I can determine exactly what she hunts for, so she can spend money freely, frugally, uh, hunt for bargain. She can focus on items, gear, weapons, whatever. This is literally one... <laughs> this is one room. There's a lot of functionality in this room alone. So let's go ahead... Why can't I move? Okay, it, it, was, it was being weird there. So let's actually look at our uh, let's actually look at our menu. So we have basically a four character setup. Uh, as for equipment, you get a main weapon, a sub weapon, your armor, which may or may not have any added effects to it, and then you have your accessories, which are all going to give their own buffs. You can see in the on the right side of the screen, each one does something a little bit different. And this goes for you and your AI unit. The other characters don't seem to be able to interact with it. Uh, let's see, gadgets, these are basically your items within the game, you have skill sets, so you can basically uh, allot skills here and set up even entire classes of skill that you can switch between. Your skill menu itself, it is actually sorted by the type of weapon you would use. And some of these overlap, which means if you invest in the right stats, you can use an, a nice amalgamation of weapons without having to worry about it. And the actual status of the game, these would be your skill points. It's pretty fucking easy to level up, so I'm gonna do a little bit more vitality. Let's go ahead and bring me up to 30 strength. And I could use a little bit more intelligence. I don't want to be a dumbass. Let's just bring it up to 16. And I prefer agility and dexterity overall. There we go. That's gonna be my values. And it's not always as simple as that. Even if, let's say I pour everything into dexterity here, the values are gonna start going up. I could probably still level up another item <laughs> so let's say one skill point on this would be roughly 20 i can still come back and do agility up for two if it's less so you kind of want to find a decent balance between the two and these determine really what you can equip and can't equip if you carry heavy weapons if you carry light weapons if you use automatic weapons or like you know, all that other shit the uh 
the actual tracking in this game, as far as quests go, it's it's not that bad, but it could do better than you got this crappy messenger shit. Uh, the map, I love talking about the map. So even whenever you're in a single area like this, you can back out of it. And you fast travel to somewhere outside of your world. So let's say I want to go straight to the Solidarity Sands or the Revenant Wasteland. Let's just go to SCB Glock and I could go... I could stay in my room, I could go to another room, I can go to another room, I can go to different treasuries and squadrons. Let's actually go to the lobby. And yeah, we'll teleport straight to the lobby entrance. You can go through doors, you can take the long way, or you can just pull out the map and go to an area that you previously discovered, or that the game determines that you're able to just go to. Sometimes you pop into an area and you can just teleport around the map like that. We're going to go straight here to the center to these AI units. Uh, each of these reads a different functionality. I'm most curious about the Metal Trader. So basically, these medals I have on the right side of the screen, as you complete actions, you'll receive a certain number of, number of medals. <laughs> and it, it is, it's exactly what it looks like. Um, gun kills get you medals. Uh, healing and reviving gets you medals. And melee attacks get you medals. It's as simple as that. And that can be used for weapons, upgrades, credits, skill points. You can use skill points far past everything else. Uh, different types of costumes, different accessories. It's... It's ridiculous just how many you need to build up in a short amount of time and how much they spread over the course of the game and just what they unlock. Now, as far as outfits and equipment, you don't necessarily have to just buy them. You get them from random drops. You can also... Uh, ba -ba -ba, what's, what's the word? You can also identify them. You can get unidentified items. You can identify them. They'll have high, low stats, whatever the fuck you think they're gonna end up with. Shut the fuck up! They'll end up with higher, low stats, you know, depending on whatever rarity it is, and a lot of times it's something that's worth selling. You can get buffs on weapons that just make them sell for more. Now, let's actually talk about the combat. I've spent too much time talking about menus and UIs, and I still haven't scratched the surface, so let's just do something interesting. Let's go straight out to the Remnant Wasteland, which is the basic starting area, and I'm going to go straight to, uh... Do, 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 do. Uh, I'm going to go straight to the... I'm going to go straight to the field, and I'm going to pop right in there. So I could teleport into any one of the dungeons in this area, or I could just fight my way there. Uh, you can find multiple treasure chests, there's a bunch of different enemies to take on, there's sub-bosses, and in the dungeons there are other bosses that you can take on that have a chance of dropping legendary items. And it is definitely worth farming, without a doubt. As, you know, you just want to go straight for that. So, just right off the bat, you know that I have assist mode, that's why I don't really have focus. Uh, so yeah, you can do things manually. Or, you just run through with assist mode and blast everything in your fucking way. I don't really mind that. I am all for it all the time. So yeah, you get all sorts of different things. If you look in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see you don't really have to pick up items from enemies to necessarily, you know, collect them. You get them upon the death of the enemy. And it looks like I just got a couple of shooting medals. I really need to calm down with that and use more melee. Let's try that out now. Yeah, nope, didn't kill him. So yeah, what I used was basically just a skill, one of the things that you can unlock a lot, and just move between as you feel the need to. I haven't really fucked with him too much, because, eh, it's, it's not that big of a deal for me. Over here we have your standard chest, random weapon, decent materials, whatever the fuck you think you might end up with. It's a fun game, just sit back, farm, let your, you know, let your mind wander, do whatever the fuck you want. You guys doing alright back here? Where'd, uh, where'd, where'd you go? Where, where's my AI unit? Oh, pff, he's lagging behind. What the fuck's wrong with you? Alright, so let's go ahead and take on, uh, let's see if we have a mini-boss over here. Which we should. You wanna fuck off with that. There's another thing to Auto-fire, you're not as likely to get critical shots. When you focus, though, you just shred the health bars. So let me go ahead and get down here real quick, show you what the revival is like. It's as simple as this. All another character needs to do is walk over, hit triangle, and you're up. As long as one person's still able to revive the others, you're all set. No harm, no fucking foul. Oh, and there we go. We got an epic drop. Not a legendary, but it'll do. Oh, come on. What are you doing down? Get up, you lazy bitch. Let's see if I can find some enemy players. That's where the real fun kicks off. So they're lower level AI. But, uh, you know, they, they still pack a punch. That's where it gets really odd, because you have to kind of juggle these fuckers. 
If you see that they're roughly level 20, level 30, and let's say you're level 40 or 50, they can still pack a punch. There's three of them against you. They can shred you if they want to, but chances are they're not really going to get that close since you have three companions. So even if they do down you, you'll just get res. That's fine. The, the thing that Sword Online gra games are great with is creating the illusion of difficulty. That they're not necessarily difficult. All you need is the right combination of items, and you're pretty much set for the entire game. But the illusion of difficulty is really just the numbers that are displayed. A and with that, they can set lower numbers, but have stronger AI to go ahead and designate, you know, a, a higher level of skill, another epic drop. Damn shame it's not a legendary. Uh, I'm not seeing any... I'm not seeing any... Uh, players around just now. Not actual players. See, you have to enter a menu for that. So I'm just gonna pop in this dungeon and uh, show you what a quick dungeon's like. Nothing too special in here, but, you know, it's something to do. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. After that, I'll, teleplay I'll teleport to a place where I know there are kind of player NPCs. And we'll be all set. I'm looking forward to getting started on a little bit more Resident Evil 2 today. It's gonna be a fun one. I think uh, at this point I'm... Shit, I don't even know what I'm doing. Alright, so let's just pop in here. Usually there would be some sort of task for you to complete in order to unlock doors, such as kill all enemies, or activate two switches, or what the fuck ever. I'm not too interested in that. This has already been done, so let me just go ahead and pull up the map real quick. For this basic dungeon, and this is the first one, you would have to go to uh, the top and the bottom of the map to activate two switches in order to open this boss room. Simple as that. I'm not gonna run through this entire fucking thing. I'm just gonna take down the boss. What's up, spawn? Ow. Why aren't you a little bag of dicks? Oh, the boss is already poisoned and went down? Fuck yeah. That's the best you got, bitch. Ooh. You tickling me. You tickling my health off. Ooh. That's another thing. You can also see other characters earning medals and prompt them to give them an up vote. I'm pretty sure this guy only drops a sword every single fucking time, so, uh, I mean, that's not a big deal until you get late game and you actually have the skills to back it up. Once you actually get that, that's when you're all set. We can use this to go ahead and teleport the fuck out of here back to the entrance. Dungeons are really just that simple. All you have to do is unlock the boss door, kill the boss, and you're all set. Don't really even have to bat an eyelash at so I'm gonna teleport somewhere where I know for a fact there are players, and, uh... I think we'll probably call it good there. I'm not sure what else I could possibly do to talk about this game that wouldn't take a fucking hour. There's... This is a game that has a lot of meta without having any actual difficulty. I, I don't know how I'm saying that properly, but yeah, it, it's something along those lines. We actually want to teleport uh, to that cave. Or, yeah, let's go to this cave, because the Sea Watchtower is a little too high level. It can get a little rough if you're not careful. There's also one of those games that'll drop a big-ass fuck you enemy that's like 40, 50 levels above everything else on the map just so you can come back and farm it later, so pay attention to that shit. Whenever you see those, they're usually the ones that drop the good shit. Alright, so there should be two, uh, kind of character NPCs over here. Yeah. But yeah, they'll use higher tier weaponry, they'll shoot with more accuracy, they'll use a items and gadgets, all sorts of shit, and they'll be smart enough to run away, and they'll be able to revive each other. Like that one, I think that item buffs them? Yeah, something like that. You definitely want folks on headshots, you'll notice it says down instead of dead, so he could still be revived by his AI partner, but we're not gonna let that happen. Simple as that. Oh, come on, you assholes, what the fuck are you doing? You know, if I have some identified items, I can go ahead and, uh, and show you the, the crafting and shit. Why not? Oh! Good job! Get this fucking bee out of my face. So let's go ahead and check real quick. Uh, let's just go to... Uh, da -da -da -da, items. Now it looks like everything's been identified so far. Unfortunate. Uh, I'll be back when I have some unidentified items. I've dug myself into a fine bag of dicks here. Just stumbled across one of the area bosses and a swarm of enemies. That's no bueno. 
But I do want to point something out. If you look at the bottom right hand corner, you'll notice not only that I'm at low health, but also, yes, I forgot to mention that this game, being a gun game, does make you buy ammo. So I ran out of ammo for my primary and reduced my secondary. And it looks like one of my team got downed. You can fuck off that shit, asshole. God damn. Oof. What are you doing? What are you doing? Leave her alone! Yeah! Oh, I'm gonna fight this out real quick. Alright, now that I'm satisfied with, we got a nice little amount of things to go ahead and, you know, examine. I'm not too worried about, uh, I'm not too worried about what I'm getting out of this. Chances are it's gonna be nothing but shit, but... Uh, I just want to give a small demonstration, take a look at some of the menus, and, uh, call it a video. Stretching. Mm, nothing like a good farm first thing in the morning. Yeah, y'all can fuck off that shit. Later! Alright. Now, whenever you go ahead and leave this main combat area, it rounds up, you know, all these different variables, and it gives you a credit reward. So, let's say the total amount of points we- yeah, total amount of points we earned was 66,000. And that's my total bounty, which is basically my ranking in the game. The higher the number, the better you are. Uh, and yeah, of course, everyone leveled up. If you notice, only me and my AI unit got CP. I'm not too worried about that, that's... Like I said, that's for skill points and all that shit. Ooh. <sighs> Gotta wake up. Gotta wake up if I'm gonna be playing Resident Evil 2. Don't wanna eat a nutty buddy? I don't know if I wanna eat a nutty buddy, probably not right now. Maybe later? Yeah, maybe later. I'm just gonna run past, past that standard shop. All the selling I need to do, I can do in here. Just gonna go straight to Kirito's room. Y'all better not try to hook me into a cutscene or anything like that. I swear to God, I'll backhand you. Don't don't be don't be roping me into a cutscene. I don't care about your affection levels. God damn. All right, so we're just gonna pop on over to uh, yeah, this dude. Praise arms for me. We're just gonna go ahead and praise all. 37,000 credits? Eh, fuck it. There we go, so we got, uh... We got an epic SMG, epic display glass, and then the rest we just have rare. So that's nothing too special. Let me see if I can actually, uh, upgrade something to plus. So you can transform weapons, which is basically taking these perks on the right side of the screen, uh, under memory chips, and adding them to another weapon that you'd like them on. And then you have Enhanced Weapon, which is basically adding a plus to its name and giving it a higher damage value. Uh, so I really don't have the credits for... Oh, well, I don't have any of the equipment for that. What am I missing? I need robot cables and old crystal circuit. Uh, let's look at this legendary that I have on my... I can I can go ahead and level that up. Which is going to be great, because she's, she's excellent at suppression. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to unequip that, because you can't... You can't, uh, upgrade something if you have it equipped, because technically you have to give it to her. It's, it's weird how they do it. But I, I like that little level, you know, if you're handing something over to be leveled up in an, in an RPG, you actually have to hand it to the person instead of just, you know, keep it in your inventory so like they're going to magically teleport it over and all that shit. So yeah, that, that's about all I want to talk about with this game. Like, comment, subscribe, keep on keeping on, I'll see you in the next one.